Hello everybody, hope you're well. I thought today I would just give you an update on everything that's been going on with me. The subscribers for this channel just keep going up and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do and I've been such a busy bee, I haven't been able to make videos and you know, having a full-time job is hard work, man. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you're more likely to know what I've been getting up to. I try to update them as much as possible to make up for my lack of YouTube videos. So the first thing I wanted to update you on was the traveling that I've been doing recently. I haven't been going far, but it's been enough to dig out my passport, so I thought it was worth a mention. I was going to make banana bite-sized breaks on them, however, I just didn't get enough footage, I didn't think it was worth it, so I'm going to tell you about them now. So a couple of weeks ago, my parents went on a two-week holiday to France to a small little coastal town called Bretignolles, and I was gutted because I was invited, but I couldn't go due to work stuff. Um, however, I found out that there was a cheeky little bank holiday weekend in the end, so I jumped on Skyscanner and booked myself a flight, so I was there for the whole weekend, and yeah, it was really nice. It was not a touristy town at all, so no one spoke English, so I had to dig my GCSE French skills out of the bag. Bonjour, uh, je voudrais un pain au chocolat, s'il vous plaît. And this weekend just gone by was absolutely awesome. We went on a work trip to Belgium to basically meet our colleagues over there who we speak to on the phones all the time. But we got to ride in the company private jet. Oh my god, it was awesome. And I managed to smooth talk my way into sitting in the cockpit. So I was like the co-pilot for the trip and it was so much fun. I didn't film it properly, but I did make a Snapchat story and I saved some of the snaps, so I shall show you them now. I'm in the office, but not for long. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the private jet that we're getting on. <laughs> It's so small! <laughs> this is, um, this is, this is genuinely my seat. For those of you who don't know, I am in Belgium, in Antwerp, and this is my snazzy hotel room. And he is My friends, this is my work party! So yeah, that was just a once in a lifetime experience that I never, ever, ever dreamed I would ever get to do. And so I just feel incredibly lucky that I was in the right job at the right time. And I'm just a temp for this company, and this is probably the first and maybe only time that they'll ever do it. So talk about good timing. That's a bit of the traveling that I've been doing. Now the traveling that's coming up, nothing is set in stone other than I am definitely going to Australia for Christmas. I'm only going for three weeks, it's not going to be a backpacking adventure, but my sister lives over there so it will be nice for the whole family to be reunited for Christmas. Uh, she lives over in Perth and we're going to go see our cousins in Melbourne as well. I do miss when I'm not in England for Christmas and like having a cold, cosy Christmas. However, I am not going to complain for having a winter tan, I'm just not. And I'm a bit apprehensive to say that after Australia. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, what I do know is that I will have saved up enough money to go somewhere and do something, but I literally don't know where we're going or if it is just gonna be just me. This is the hard thing. I've spoken about with my friends. We were talking about India, Costa Rica, Malaysia, so many different places that we're thinking of going, but like I'm sure a lot of you know, it's so hard deciding where you want to go, for how long, how much you can budget. And I think I'm going to do a video on this because I think it's a problem that a lot of people have, like, and it mainly links in with why you are wanting to travel. I'm struggling deciding whether I want to go by myself or with friends, and obviously I really want to go with friends, but when everyone has contrasting ideas, it's really difficult. And so yeah, that's what I'm going through at the moment, trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing with my life after Christmas, but 
I don't know yet. In other news, it is my 21st birthday on 30th of September and I'm so excited! I don't really have anything planned though. Thing is, 21 is a big milestone age but you can't really do much more in England. I wish I had a flight booked to Vegas. I am going to Paris for the day with my parents and my best friend so that will be super duper fun and I will probably just have a really messy night out with my friends to be honest but I'm really excited. 21 is like, it's just like a, that age isn't it? 21. Just seems cooler than 20. <laughs> now this is going to be my promise. I am super duper shitty at consistently uploading videos and I want that to be a thing of the past. So I am going to now upload at least once a fortnight, if not more. I will struggle because I'm extremely busy at the moment but I love making videos and I love editing them and I love doing this. And so I'm gonna try my absolute best to get as many videos up as I can. I do have a few video ideas in the pipeline but if you have any video ideas that you think that I should do or you want to see me do, please let me know. You can leave a comment below, you can Instagram me, you can tweet me, whatever it is, just throw up my way and it would be great to know what you guys think. And I guess that is it for now. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!